are so back hey what's up guys it's your girl shauna aka shauna j gave back with another youtube video today what i have for you guys is a video talking about everything that i got to experience because i did get to play black ops 6 early yes you heard it right um by now the time of me posting this video the world wide reveal is going on um with the xbox you know direct and all of that but now we're finally able to talk about everything we saw if you guys didn't see it there you'll see it here um no there will not be any gameplay in this video as usual no gameplay it's not that time of the year but it is that time of the year because we still got to play it and i can still you know i just need y'all to be here with me i just need everybody to lock it in so we're going to talk about everything we talk about really quick before we get into that i want to go ahead and say a huge thank you to treyarch for allowing me to come out there that was my first time actually you know visiting treyarch yes i've gone to you know other events and stuff but this was my first time at treyarch being able to talk to the devs experience black ops 6 early i think i'm going to start this off talking about some multiplayer i feel like that's that is what my heart is telling me to do. So we're going to hop into multiplayer, probably then campaign. And then we're going to end it off with some zombies. Like I said, timestamps for the different sections will be in the pin comment and description below. All right. So now for the fun stuff, let's get into multiplayer. Like I said, I want to touch on multiplayer first. I feel like that's what a majority of the people are coming to my video to hear about. And obviously some Warzone. I'll tell you guys right now, before we even continue this video, no Warzone will be talked about in this video. So just go ahead and get that through your head. Uh, we were told absolutely nothing about Warzone. I didn't even see the word Warzone on the screen. So don't get your hopes up. I got I got no Warzone tea for you. But all things Black Ops multiplayer. And, you know, we could hope that maybe we see some of this stuff in Warzone. Because it's actually really cool. Best play and Winter Circle are coming back for, like, in-game. So, you know, everybody going trying to hit that crazy clip in the game. So everybody can see what happened. You know, quad feeds, triples, whatever. And then Winter Circle is, you know, top three players of the lobby. We're going to have 10 custom classes per usual. Each weapon, you'll have five attachments, but we have wild cards coming back with those wild cards. You'll be able to have eight attachments if you're using, you know, the wild card that allows you to have extra attachments. And we will get one dedicated quick equip. Also, what we can expect to be returning with wild cards, we're going to have detailed weapon stats, shared optics, a gunsmith, being able to favorite your class, showcase weapon, and a shooting range. As far as the perks go, there's going to be Enforcer, Recon, and Strategist perks. So perks to help out with a little bit of everything, whatever your play style is. Moving forward, we're going to talk a little bit about progression. I'm sure you guys saw a little earlier this week. Uh, there was some progression leaks already on Twitter, but I am happy to confirm that Classic Prestige is coming back. Uh, we were actually told this is going to be the best version of Prestige as well as the most rewarding. I definitely think it was a really big deal that they said it was going to be the most rewarding because, you know, in some of, you know, the previous CODs, we kind of felt like we were just grinding for nothing, essentially. Um, yeah, we completed the grind, but what did we actually get for that? Was it more than a calling card? Was it, you know, was there any special gear, camos, all of that? All the good stuff that we want. Classic Prestige, there's going to be 10 Prestiges in BO6. Each come with rewards you earn and prestige master is indeed 1000 levels. So the level 1000 grind is back. I myself am personally happy to have that back. I am happy to say also that theater mode is coming back. Now, I don't know from a casual standpoint how much you guys like theater mode, but from a content creator standpoint, theater mode is so huge. Being able to replay the game and get those different angles and see everything that happened also being able to watch your opponents and like hey maybe you're surprised about something they did you can literally go watch what they did um from every angle this is going to be huge for you know screenshots thumbnails all that so super excited to have theater mode coming back honestly it wouldn't be a black ops game without theater mode getting into the good stuff i want to talk about this omni movement omni movement is the new movement mechanic coming to black ops 6 omni movement allows you to sprint slide and dive in any direction yes i said any direction i'm not exaggerating when i say that we are about to begin freaky on the map this movement change also comes with supine prone which grants you the ability to rotate while prone so basically the same thing as the sprint but you can also do a wild prone. This game allows you to be able to pull off things that we've never been able to pull off before. You're just gonna have to picture that in your head because obviously I can't show any gameplay. And if you guys need a visual, you know what? Actually, I got some gameplay for you. Roll a clip. Here is a clip. I actually saw this clip on Twitter from Modern Warzone. Um, there's the game called Max Payne. Now, if you're you, now when you guys watch this clip, um, you guys might think the movements are a little slow and not as fluid but that is definitely not what black ops is this is a very old clip this 
this movement has came a long way so i'm just so excited for you guys to see it i'm just gonna move on to the next topic before i get too deep into the movement uh maps maps for multiplayer there's gonna be 16 new maps at launch traditional three name we love that multiplayer is gonna take place after the campaign four out of those 16 maps are 2v2 gunfight maps so there's going to be 12 6v6 maps and four strike maps to kind of wrap up the multiplayer size of things carry forward from modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 the content will not transfer to black ops 6 this means basically every skin you guys have bought you know all of that content that is just not going to be available in black ops 6 honestly it doesn't need to be it's a new game um different era different things are going on but on the positive side of things uh, all of your content will still be available in Warzone. It will just not be available in the, you know, Black Ops 6 multiplayer, zombies, campaign, all of that. It did mention there will be a few exceptions. They didn't exactly tell us, you know, what things won't transfer. Um, but I just assume maybe some of the bundles won't make the cut even for Warzone. And honestly, I mean, that's okay. It, they're, we got enough going on. We're going to have new bundles this year. Hopefully that is not something that really bothers you guys that much. To get on the subject of campaign, uh, this campaign is going to take place after the events of Black Ops Cold War. I think a lot of people were confused why this is being called Black Ops 6 because we had BO4, then we had Black Ops Cold War, and now we're having Black Ops 6. Black Ops Cold War was Black Ops 5 technically, so I just need everybody to wrap their heads around that. Now that we're on the same page, I would say, you know, last year, you know, they tried to say this was going to be a new era of Call of Duty in general. I think this is the first time where we can say the new era actually applies. Like this is this is truly something we've literally never had before. Obviously, I don't have the trailer to show you guys in this video, but we were able to see the trailer. We were able to talk about, you know, what the goal of the story is. And honestly, campaign sounds like it's going to be also something that we've never experienced before because of the angle that things are coming from so the goal of this campaign is to get the traders out and clear our name we're gonna be doing whatever it takes we're gonna be rogue agents for the first time in in history we're not gonna have you know the military on our side eyes in the sky we have a very small team that we have to work with and only a few people that we can trust so once again, something we've never gone through, you know, normally we have all the, the bells and whistles. So a lot of this, I feel like is going to be, you know, rogue and hardcore. And we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to use our brains to get through a lot of these missions. They mentioned that the story be, will be filled with twists and turns, mystery and paranoia and historical touch points. You're going to be staying true to the lore in the campaign. We'll be seeing familiar faces such as Frank Woods, Russell Adler, as well as meeting some new allies like Troy and Jane. And last but not least, zombies. We didn't get to touch too much on zombies. We are very limited on zombies. I think they want to, you know, reveal some more of the zombie things at a later date. Uh, but I am happy to say that round based zombies is returning. The zombies dark aether story is going to continue where we left off. This is going to be five years later. There's going to be two zombies maps at launch, a bunch of secrets to uncover, and both maps are taking place at the same time. They did also mention to us that this is going to be their most dynamic zombies experience yet. What that means, we're just going to have to wait to see at a later date. But that was all that I was able to share with you guys freely. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to make sure I link the Xbox Direct because, you know, that's where they did the reveal. That's where you guys will actually be able to watch some clip. I didn't have that available to me while making this video, but I wanted to make sure if you guys hadn't seen it that you guys can go and watch it. But yeah, there's not really much else to say. I feel like we're in for a good one. I think everybody needs to go into this game with an open mind to not expect it to be like anything we've ever experienced before it is gonna take some getting used to um but i do believe once everybody gets used to it that it's gonna be a lot of fun now that we got all that out the way you guys let me know down below in the comment section what you're thinking what you guys thought you know about the reveal if you guys were able to watch a little bit of the reveal um obviously i recorded this before the reveal so none of that footage is going to be in this video but i'll make sure i link the reveal down below if you guys want to see any of the stuff obviously i'm talking about in here after hearing all that as you guys can see we are in for a lot this year Truly appreciate you guys tuning in this video. Make sure you guys do go ahead and drop a like and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more dope content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. May God continue to bless the United States of America. Pre-order the Vault Edition and get the Hunters vs. Hunted Operator Pack, the Mastercraft Weapon Collection, the Season 1 Black Cell Bundle, and more.